Hello and welcome everyone. Here we are. We're back. It's Thursday, which means we're playing some Pioneer. Now, just a heads up, uh, because of my schedule and stuff, I don't know if I'll be able to record a video or better than the rest video this week. I'm going to still try to if I can, um, but just so you know, I might not be able to. But I'm able to get it up. This will be the last video of the week, um, but I will record the better than the rest video and play it next week. I believe it's Abzan. I think Abzan's the one that's winning. Um, either way, um, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys, uh, enjoy that, if I can get, when I get it up, but for now, we're going to be playing a Jund Blue, excuse me, mid-range deck. So a buddy of mine and I were talking, and he said that Oko is the kind of card in Modern that if you can play green or you can play blue, might as well just play Oko. <laughs> Because what's the downside? And I mean, I was kind of like, eh, whatever. But the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I love playing weird four-color decks that don't really need to play four colors, but they do anyway. So I was like, why not play a Jund mid-range deck and let's just play blue for some blue spells? So at first I was like, alright, well, it was basically just Jund mid-range and Pioneer playing Okos. But then I was like, you know what? How about we play... Some Jaces and some Treasure Cruises. Sounds good to me. So that's what we're doing. Um, I'm actually going to make one change real quick. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. So, I added a Painful Truth because I love that card. And it's probably not good, but it's one of the, my favorite cards to play in this uh, type of format. Um, so basically what we have here is we have some Pushes as removal. We have some dread, a Dreadboard, two Abrupt Decays, and Assassin's Trophy. Some Heroes Downfalls and two Bone Crusher Giants. That's our main removal suite package. Because we have Jaces, so the Heroes Downfalls better than Murderous Rider. Also doesn't lose his life. Um, Bone Crusher Giant is in there because it's really nice having a 4-3 creature to beat down with as well. Um, we have Thought Seizes, some Disruption. I think it's one of the best cards you can play if you're playing in black. Some scavenging uses because scavenging is just very versatile. Um, has a lot of good applications against a lot of different decks. Uh, we're playing Gilded Goose because a it helps us fix our mana. Um, it's it's basically the only one mana. I think I think it is the only one mana mana dork that can tap for any color of mana. And that's got huge utilities. A in a four color deck. B in a deck that's wanting to cast. Double red alongside green black four cost spells. Now Chandra's a little ambitious, I think, um, but we don't really have to cast her on four. Uh, we're playing three treasure crews and three Drace fringe prodigies along with sides our four Okos as our blue spells. Uh, mana base is a hodgepodge of lands. We're playing a bunch of basics so that we can take advantage of failed passages. Don't know if this is right or not. Could very well be wrong. We'll see. Um, sideboard wise. I was playing a Fry, but I just decided to make it the other Dreadboard that wasn't the main board originally. Um, an Assassin's Trophy, two Colgon's Commands, A for Affinity, but also B um, just in any other matchup where we just need another removal spell that also can potentially get back a Scavenging Ooze, get back a Jace, get back a Bone Crusher Giant. Um, also getting it back Guild Goose isn't terrible. Chandra, Awaken Inferno. Against control, she's really good at closing out the game. Plus, can't be countered. It's important. Unmoored ego um, for any combo deck to come up. Plus, against control matchups, it's pretty good. Um, also, can be good against other decks when we really just need something that can pick apart our opponent's hand. Two noxious grass because Oko sucks to play against, and mono green devotion is really really good. Two anger of the gods because I think it's one of the better removals, and it's kind of lower down, which is kind of what we want. And three duresses again for control. Um, actually, I'm going to switch this. Let's go th two duresses and a third noxious grasp. Because I think uh, six discard spells post forward against control is probably good enough. I don't think we need seven. I could be wrong. We'll see. All right, we're going to play some matches here. Um, we'll see how this goes. Again, not sure how good the deck is. Just a bunch of cards thrown together, really. Um, hopefully it'll go well, but we'll see. 
Um, yeah, it's also possible we still have enough blue sources in our deck, and that's going to cost us, but we'll find out. Um, we're going to play some matches here. Uh, and much like Jeskai Control, if this goes, or Jeskai Black, if this goes well, maybe we'll revisit it and uh, play it a few more times. Alright, we play him first. Alright, we're keeping it. Chandra's a long way off, but we got some Okos, we got a Painful Truths. Is this hand good? Probably not. Does it beat Mono Green Devotion? Definitely not. Does it beat a deck like Grixis Control? Maybe. Do we have a lot of good draws? Yes. Am I talking too much? Probably. Alright, I'm actually going to play this like I would if this was an actual, an actual event. I'm not just going to fetch just so I can just auto-pass. Guild of Goose. No, Renegade map. Interesting. Are they like a blue-green Karn deck? <laughs> Alright. It's all you, opponent. Let's see what you got. Okay. You like he? Um, I don't want them playing something for four four mana this turn. I'm just gonna elk it and pass. I mean, they look like they're an Aetherworks Marvel type deck, so. I still have Nascency, alright, nice. Yep, let's draw three. Well, there's one red source. We're gonna see what they get. It looks like they're gonna get a tracker here. Um, do we just want to push this? Yeah, let's just push it now. We shocked him for that reason. We're gonna get one activation, one trigger off of this. No, they're not even playing it. Cameo, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Name's Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Hmm. Now here's the real question. Do we want to kill? I think we do. Yeah, I think we want to... Kill Tamiya. We don't want her picking anything up. So they're definitely an Aetherworks Marvel deck, right? Like, that's... They gotta be. 
Simic Marvel. Tracker. Nice. Mm hmm. Spiral. All right, they're going to put in the line and play. That's good. Yeah, that's very good. All right, Puzzle Knot. Nice. I like it. All right, Deck, let's draw a red source here. It's not a red source. But. Oh, I'm an idiot. Dang it. Let's see if they offer the trade. Didn't think so. Yep. I mean, we obviously screwed up by playing the land first, but, you know, lessons learned. All right, Marvel. You got one spin, opponent. You got one spin, then your Aether Work Marvel is an Elk. Nice. Okay. Okay. You're gonna Elk my uh, Tracker? No. Okay. Well, bad play doesn't bad pay, play costs us here big time. So that sucks. I can take the stop off now. We're not playing dredge anymore. Right, scavenging ooze, which is very good. Um, actually, hold on a second. Yeah, elk this. Downfall Oko. Yeah, and unfortunately I might have to protect Oko here. I guess if I would have played Watery Grave there, I could have eaten another one and made this a 4-4. Yep, Tamio. Pick him back up. Oko. Sure. Yep, Oko. All right, I'll go down. Well, I'm pretty happy about that one. I guess we're going to save the land drop. Yeah, we should have saved the land drop. Yeah, and then let's go ahead and pass the turn. 
We gotta gain three more life this turn. Hmm. Name Emrakul the Promised End. Yep. Yep, Rogue Refiner. Obviously not gonna attack with the whole team. Or well, I'm dumb. This just came into play, of course, you're gonna attack with the whole team. Yep, two with the Aether. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, alright, we're just gonna eat some stuff. Gain a lot of life. Mm, that's awkward. We have two red sources here when we have a double red card in our hand. Oh, actually, wait, I'm done. Chandra. Make two red. There's that. Yep. Now they can't kill our Chandra, but if they do that, they don't get to deal us any damage. Not sure if that was right or not. Yep, charge down. Oko. Go and eat some stuff. Mm, they have no more creatures left. It looks like they're out of creatures. <laughs> All right, let's go. Take the top card. Cast scavenging ooze. Yep. Attack Oko. At the end of the day, unfortunately, we have to get Oko off the table, even though now we're about to lose our Chandra again. They have no cards in hand, so. We're going to eat the rover refiner. Yep. Make it a 10 10. Put him to four. Oh man. Yeah, all we had to do was keep our. Uh, I think we should have uh, just dreadboard the Tamio to start with. Mm. 
Yeah, that's annoying. No attacks, I ain't no surprise. Treasure cruise again. Well, I mean, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, that sucks, but what are we going to do? Like, <laughs> you know. I'm going to attack Oko here. Yeah, I'm not happy about that going to the graveyard, but honestly, not a lot we can do about it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's more thought seizes, which is not what we wanted, but on the bright side, we've drawn through like most of our bad cards, right? So we gotta start hitting good ones. On the positive side, there are two emeralds down. Oh shit. Yep, here comes another here comes an emerald. Another marvel, okay. All right, Deck, show me a little bit of love for once, please. Damn, really? Cannot catch a break. The elk it. Yep. Problem is we can't stop them from killing our Oko, so we kind of just got to kill theirs. Hmm. Yep. They attacking. They're not attacking ours. It doesn't look like. Okay, they are. Nope, no more creatures, okay. Alright, my turn. Bout freaking time, deck. Raska, 
Oh, I'm dumb. I should have thought these first. Yeah. I figured it was a land, but I should have let on Thoughtseize before I cast Vraska. Alright. They gained some more. They got some more life they're gaining here. They also got to take down a Vraska, which sucks. Alright. Jace. So, the more we play this deck, the more it feels like Sultai splashing red. <laughs> Which kind of feels like the way I built the mana base. Yep. Man, who thought scavenging was going to be the MVP this game? Holy crap. Although they are like one Emrakul away from just like really killing us. Ton of a bitch. Interesting choice. They made a food instead of uh, Elking our Jace. Okay. Yep. down yep goose goose Jace. Yep, I was gonna say that one card's gonna have to be a pretty good one there, opponent. Alright, I mean, the, for the for very first performance, the deck seemed to do pretty well. Alright, so we're gonna unmoor Ego here. Um, so I want Dreadborn Assassin's Trophy, I think. Some number of Noxious Grass, probably. The rest also seems possible. And Colgon's Command seems possible. Alright, so that brings in our unmoored egos to start with. Um, I think I want Bone Crusher Giant because it can give a clock. No, it just gets blocked by elks. So maybe duresses. Maybe cut the dread boar for the, the trophy. Since we care more about just killing things. Hmm. Uh, 
Well, that feels awkward because we basically just took out all of our non, uh, almost all of our non red cards. Actually, maybe Dreadboard is better than Abrupt Decay. I'm not sure. Let's try it. I'll keep it. I mean, again, a little slow. Oh, we don't have blue. I'm dumb. That makes a big difference. Not having blue makes a very big difference. Yep. All right, Renegade map. I now see why they play this, because they can sack it to... Uh... Beautiful. Uh, they can sack it so that they can then turn around and uh, not only gain an energy off of the Aetherworks, but they can also fix their mana. Yeah, what you getting? Island? Sure. I, I'm i playing 25 lands because I thought I was playing a little light on lands in the beginning. Alright, Oko. So rather than play my own Oko, I'm going to downfall theirs, I think. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. Duress. Mr. Oh. Dispute, is that a card you got? It's not. Oh, that's an enchantment. Never mind, we're making a food. I don't know why I thought Vessel of Nascency was an artifact. The bright side of the stuff of the kind of matchup that Painful Truths is good in. Very slow, very dirtly, very do nothing. So we're taking Rogue Refiner. Yep, replace itself. God, Rogue Refiner was a stupid card. All right, I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm assuming they're just taking three here. Um, I was going to play Jace, but I think I'm going to change my mind and play Thoughtseize here. Emrakul, Marvel, Attune, Ugin. Six mana. They're actually really close to just casting Emrakul here. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Hmm. 
That's tough. Their hand's really good. The moment they don't have the energy to activate this, but they could sack this to get the energy once it's in play. Let's take Emrakul. Emrakul is definitely the one that I'm the most worried about. And Marvel, they get one spin and then Oko shuts it off after that. Alright, Tracker. A tune. Mm -hmm. Forest, play Forest. Alright, six. Yep, tack Oko down. Yep. Hmm. All right, let's do this. So let's go Jace. Food. Then we're going to Vraska kill Tracker. Honestly, right now, I think Vraska Regard Queen is just one of the absolute best cards in Standard, Pioneer, and Historic. Yep, great card. Yep. Admittedly, we are dead if they do hit Ulamog or Emrakul. Not Ulamog, Ugin. Well, or Emrakul. Yep. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, God. All right, let's make what? What's eight mana? Uh, I guess that. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Problem here is even if we unmoored Ego the Ugin out of their hand, we still have to beat the one on the battlefield. And that's going to be incredibly difficult with the cards we just drew. Uh. So, I mean, that's literally their deck is just Emrakul's, Tamios, and Oko's left. 
And it was forest. Likely gonna kill our goose. Which is expected. Yep. Fuck. Pick back up Emrakul. Shit, no red source means no bro no uh, dread boar. Damn. That shit's that that's funny. That's funny, deck. You're hilarious. Yeah, I mean this game went from like very in our favor to just they hit they just hit the one one card we can't beat. I guess I'm supposed to un maybe I'm supposed to unmoored the Emrakul. Yep. Yep. Just cast the Emrakul. Thank you. All right. Um. Hmm. With Ugin in mind. No, I think that's. I think the configuration we have is right. All right, we're going to give it a try. This is quite possibly not going to pay off, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. It needs it needs a lot of mana. We're just getting an island here. Yep, servant. Deck, I just need a land. Preferably a green one, but just a land. Name Aetherworks Marvel. Let's go. A tune harbor rogue Ugin Puzzle Knot.
Okay, that, uh, let's do this. So he gets to redraw one card. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, Blood Crypt is very much so not the land I wanted to draw, but it's fine. Four mana, a tune. Oh no, they're just gonna play Rogue Refiner? Alright. Well, I guess I could still a tune. Grab an island, I'm assuming. Yep. So. So we know Ugin, Puzzle Knot, Island. Draw a card. Ah, oh, deck, you're killing me right now so much. Hmm. Yep, yeah, this sucks. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So no more puzzle knots. Just Ugin and three unknown. Come on, deck. Jesus Christ. Attack Jace for three, I'm assuming. No, attack me for three. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Uh yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. Interesting choice there. Well, that's a good one. Yep. Oh, holy shit. Well, we know Emrakul the Promised End is now in their hand, plus two unknown. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, we're in trouble. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, uh, they're one man away from being able to do it. One, two, three, four, 
three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. You can have Jace. I'd like the record to show I am incredibly happy about this whole, uh, One more ego. Emrakul, the promised end. Yeah, this is uh this is looking great for us. We got one unknown. We are incredibly low on life and even lower on time. Taking all of it. Yep. Actually, I think we got a downfall now. That's something I can afford to wait on it. I have to block here, go to one. No, all right. Ah, that's a frustrating one, but yeah, I'm, I, I think there was somewhere there we could have. Could have played better, but I don't know. It's tough. Tough to say. I mean, the deck was sweet. We just didn't. I think if we would have hit our green source earlier, we would have won. That was the problem, though. We were stuck with no green for forever. So, all right, we'll be back in just a minute with the next round. All right, here we are on the play. All right. I mean, this hand seems good. We are missing double black, but, I mean, not only we're playing against, I kind of like this here. All right. Traverse. All right. So we're playing against, like, Delirium. I can dig it. All right, Treasure Cruise. That's a little ways away still. Yep. Hmm. That's a little awkward. I'm actually going to discard Treasure Cruise. Push.
I don't know if scavenging is actually good for our deck. All right, there, Abzan. Yeah, that's um, that sucks. And we'll choose. All right, we did not draw a black source, which sucks. Although, to note, we did draw a Vraska, which does get to kill this next turn. Also, we can play Chandra, too, which is important. Also, we get to flip Jace next turn if we want to. Hmm. I think scavenging is, is good because it lets us fight against Delirium. Also, just fighting against any kind of like, like against Phoenix is pretty good because it can just like unintentionally is good against them. You're not like we're not we didn't play it to be like oh yeah well it's good against Phoenix so therefore it's a good card. Hmm. One opponent Let's get some attacks going. I'm not sure how those mid-range matchups are going to be. They haven't seemed great for us. Or at least that Aetherworks Marvel did it, but that's a little bit different. They're, they're much bigger than we are. Right, I'm going to pause until our opponent makes a decision, because this is getting... Just sitting here. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, we're attacking. Alright, now we're attacking. No blocks. Hmm. Actually, either one of our planeswalkers can take down and kill an Offenza. So I think it just matters which one we want to play. Yeah, playing so many basics fills a. Oh, why? Oh, we could have played Mana Confluence. I'm dumb. Also, the issue is I don't know if our sideboard's actually, like, good. So, Noxious Grass definitely comes in here, though, against Abzan. Come on. Opponent making decisions. Followed up with land? No, no land drop. Alright, I like it. Oko. Oko. Grim Flare, Rhino, Thoughtseize, Ballista, Ballista. Hmm. Guess take Thoughtseize. Well, maybe we should have taken Rhino. Let's 
It's tough to say. Both going at Oko. Okay. Oko down. Sure. Mm hmm. Frasco. Kill you. I think we're getting rid of the land. Yeah, let's just fatal push. Falling out, they gotta put another two creature types in the graveyard for this to have trample. Or not trample, but this could become bigger. Ooh, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Yeah, that's that's I don't know how I beat that bad. Yeah, that's um Maybe I don't worry about this quite yet. Yeah, maybe I don't worry about it yet. Maybe I maybe I just Right now? Yep. At least you know the last two cards in their hand. I'm assuming they're going to go with no sacrifice. Although, Sack in the Land does put them that much closer to that being live. So if I go one, two, three, four, play this. Downfall of this. Oh, this is so bad. I don't have a way of triggering revolt yet. Dang it, this is a problem. Hmm. So downfall can kill the rhino. Alright, let's do this. Kill the rhino. Make you a 3-3. Three, three.
Yeah, no matter what we do here, it becomes a... No matter what we do here, it gets delirium. Dang it. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna block. Okay. Okay. I like it. Sack of planes. Yep. Draw a card, gain a life. What are you doing? Stop doing your thing. Yep. All right, so we shot Jace for one. Make food. Nope. Keep it from yelling minus. I think oh goes we're gonna start cracking food though to be honest. I think that's part of the game we're getting to here. I really feel like we're getting to cracking food territory. Yep, that's a problem. No sack, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go there. There. Actually, this puts me to one, but All right, we're at four, they have a food, and we have a two five rhino. They got, all right, they got a forest, that's all they got left. Plus, make food. Nebraska, kill the food. Attack for four. Here we go. Tough turn. What do we got? What do we have opponent?
Okay. And apparently they don't want us to treasure cruise. Alrighty. So. Definitely noxious grasps. These two sound like they could be good. Um, painful truths. We could definitely trim probably here. I don't know that Jace is great. Bone Crusher Giant seems fine early in the game, early on, but be cut an Oko. Maybe do this. Try that, I guess. Not real sure if trimming down our draw is actually what we want, but this deck may not be good, but it's definitely awesome. I really like it a lot. we go. I remember that first match took us 50 minutes. Jesus, that was insane. Whew, that was a long match. Man, I'm playing slow tonight. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why. I don't know what's up with me. I don't know why. I think I'm just tired. I had an operation on my toe last or two weeks ago, so I had a couple. I had a week off of work. Uh, I mean, the only problem with this hand is like if we don't draw on the land, we're in trouble. You know what? We'll keep it. We got quite a few looks at another land. I'm feeling greedy. Obviously, if we get Thoughtseize or Pushed, we're going to cry, but... You know, whatever. All right, let's see what we got, opponent. Do not push my goose. Get a swamp, and please don't push my... Oh, they're going to planes. Oh, interesting. Land? That's so annoying. So annoying. I mean, it's literally nobody's fault but my own. I kept this hand. Alright, well, this is part where we lose the game because we don't draw land, so... But again, can't blame anyone but myself. I kept the hand. Yep. Land. Thank you, deck. I actually am going to kill this now because I don't want them getting any more clues off of it.
Yep. I don't think I would tap the white source. That's a little weird. All right, land. It's definitely a land. Don't know what our opponent has in their hand, but... Fetch. Treasure Crew is not a card I was interested in. Scavenging Ooze. We could have played Chandra, but I think it's way too likely they have a removal spell for her. Like I said, way too likely they have a removal spell for her. Corsair. Grasp on top. That's fine. Yeah, they could not just grasp a goose. That obviously sucked pretty bad. Son of a bitch. Land. Land. One time, land. If my opponent wants to draw a card. Dread Boar, Killer Skana. I'm doubtful they want to grasp my goose to be honest. Yeah, they they okay, they they don't want to grasp the goose. That's that's fair. All right, they're drawing a lot of lands here. Hmm. Well, next turn, I think we have access to Dreadbor and Assassin's Trophy without tapping the goose. I don't know, this is tough. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
If we draw a fabled passage, I think I 100% just treasure cruise this turn. Tap land. Not quite what we wanted. Okay, let's go ahead and pass. Another land. Yep. I feel like if we were, oh, that's not what I want. I feel like if we're gonna pull that trigger, we should have pulled it a little earlier. Just saying. Sure. Last card to land? Sure. Yep, draw three cards. All right, I'm pretty okay with this. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with this. I would have preferred a land here, to be honest, but I'm I'm pretty okay with this. I'm gonna get a Bone Crusher, one of the spiders, and then we gonna save the grass, but we can dread bore this or something. Hmm. Take three down to eight. Rhino. Yep. Not sure what our opponent's waiting to do here. That's actually a really good one. All right. Scavenging is sometimes just felt like, like just somehow felt like a great draw every time we drew, have drawn it. Yep. Hmm. 
Yep. Alright, we'll see. We have this trophy in case we need it. We also can crack this or just eat two more creatures from their graveyard. Flare resolves. Something good. Right, tapped land, uh, no reveal. So with that being the case, let's go Bone Crusher. Pass the turn. We got X in an overgrown tomb. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here, to be honest. So XX on overgrown tomb. If I attack with this, I think I double block it. Just so they have to have two removal spells to not only just to keep it to survive, but they have to have two removal spells so that it can trample through. Hmm. Again, I don't know if this deck is actually good or not, but I really like it. It is a lot of fun. Okay, our opponent's done playing. All right, we'll be back in just a minute for the next round. So double treasure cruise is super awkward, but potential turn three Elko I think is worth it. And I mean like, you know, I mean we're what four, four mana away from casting this. It's fine. We'll just draw a Jason loot one away or something. We've got most our colors. Um. So something uh, to think about is, number one, I put a lot of Treasure Cruise because I wanted to play a lot of Treasure Cruise to start with. I wanted to see how the card felt in the deck. And from playing it, I feel like, well, don't get me wrong, I love Chandra. I definitely feel like this deck is more Splash Red than it is um, Splashing Blue. Goose, no grazer. Okay, so they're probably. I don't know what they are. Hmm. Strategic planning. Oh, no. What? Oh my god, what? Holy crap, what's happening? I don't know what's going on. But I don't like it. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. No part of this seems like it's okay. No! Oh my god. Ah. Oh, that's um It's kind of a big whoops. Life lesson, kids. Take your time. Take your time. Damn it, that's annoying. So it'll be some kind of lotus feel. Oh my god, what in the... Wow. I was saying, they're obviously some kind of Lotus Field spells deck. I feel like we're in such a better spot if I wanted to freaking punt it like an idiot. I really would have. I 
mean. Oko. Oh man, yep, I feel like an idiot. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like we'd be in such a better position if I wouldn't have screwed that up. Hmm. Okay. I think I see what's going on here. Oh my god, are they doing it again? Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. New perspectives? Paco! Okay. Ballista? Uh oh. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. All right. So are we just like are we done then? Is this is this it? Are we dead? Nine mana. Okay. That is definitely rude. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this game's done. Um, again, I'm, I'm not sure. But I have that feeling with him having seven cards in hand. I mean, there's got to be like no way we can win this, right? Like, there's just got to be no way. We're just going to sit here and see how they actually kill us. 
I'm assuming it's just going to be a giant, um, whatchamacallit to our face, but... We're just going to have to see. Okay. Feeling dead. Yep, just waiting to see how they kill us. I, I mean, I, I'm assuming they're just gonna ping us to death. I don't, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna pause it till we actually see exactly what they uh, are. They're just gonna double explosion us. Yep, all right. All right, so we want the dresses. Onward ego. Um, it'll push out. Scavenging news can come out. Actually, maybe let's leave scavenging news, take out one of these, and then, like, a Jace, maybe? I feel like if there's any archetype that competed, it's one that has this many discard spells in their deck. Of course, we don't have any counter spells, which sucks. I want to go for more interactive, like, try to beat them, planeswalkers, stuff like that. I really want to go for counter spells, especially not in our first version. I think the thing is, we need to do two things. We need to disrupt them enough, and we need to kill them. And these cards don't help with any of that plan. It's interesting they're playing a Boreal Grazer because that feels like just such a like wasted card. Like I don't know, it feels like it's just such a dead draw. Maybe that's just me though. I don't know. I could be wrong. Like Completely possible I'm wrong. Alright, we're back on the play. I guess let's keep it. I mean... If we draw a red source, we technically can start doing something... The awkward thing is here, like, all we have is a Thoughtseize. It's, like, all we have going for us. Yeah, we should have mulliganed. I'm done. 
We should definitely mulligan. Grazer, sure. Alright. What well, land you put into play here, opponent? Temple of Mystery. So check and dispute. Thankfully, their hand doesn't have a whole lot going on for them. I mean, they obviously have a dig through time, but. Like, we're about to have an Oko. Yep, Scry. I'm just going to auto pass here. Oh, this is going to be the new Perspectives or whatever it's called deck. But this, like, Storm's deck is even worse. That's so unfortunate. Sure, untap. I hope you did not draw a land opponent. That sucks. They gotta dig through time next turn. Come on, Thoughts, he's off top one time. Yeah, this sucks. This is not... Not good. Yep, three cards in hand. About to dig through time. Okay. Hmm. The reason I didn't want I wanted to take the Mystic Dispute was so that Oko could resolve. But maybe we should just took dig through time and tried to jam the just jam the uh, bone crusher giant instead. Hmm. The thing that's annoying about this is we're playing 25 lands, so it's not even like I'm playing a low amount of lands. Sure. Play Thespian Stage. Play a Grazer. Last card in your hand is a land, please. Nope. Alright, that sucks. Red source. It's not a red source. Mega food. I 
Bone Crusher. Last turn. Hope they don't have anything. But it feels like most of their dead draws are probably gone by now. We'll see. Five mana. Yep. Pour over the pages. Cool. I kind of just want to concede so we can go on to the next game since our opponent's uh, clearly not playing at a swift pace. Uh huh. Hmm. Um, I guess here we go. Let's see if we die. I mean, we're making a 3-3 three, three every turn at this point. That is uh, the only way I see us winning this game. And I don't even see us winning that game that way, so. It's just one of those matchups that, like, not having any type of counterspell and only having six interactive cards is not, not good. I guess we should have brought in Chandra and stuff like that just because they're better than the removal. Oh, God. Sure. I'm probably just going to concede with whatever they cast here. Yeah, if this is a, especially if this is a dig through time, I'm just gonna concede. I mean, I don't know why you'd cat double cast. Copy double cast, but instead of just copying the next spell you cast, oh, wait. Oh. I get you. And so now expansion copies double cast, which copies expansion, which copies double cast with copies expansion. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep.
Mm-hmm. All right. Let's pretend that was fun. The deck's still sweet, just, you know, whatever. All right, we're on the draw, and I'm going to keep this. It's got all our colors. We got potential push into ooze into Oko. So, we'll see. Plus, we do have a treasure cruise for a little bit later. And this is going to be the last round for the video, um, win or lose. We are almost two hours in. I like to try to keep the videos maxed out around this time, so... <laughs> I've been playing slow. The deck's also just like slow and grindy. So. Alright. I like it. Uh -huh. Read the vault. Yep. Um, let's go ooze and pass. Obviously here they're going to get to attack us and pick up their bone, their gutter bones. And then play it tapped. No. Rotting Regisaur, eh? Okay. I mean... That's kind of scary. Fatal Push. Dreadbore also would be acceptable. Bone crushy. Bone crushy sadly is not acceptable. Much as I'd love for our opponent to have to discard a bunch of cards. Yep, Thoughtseize, you can take my Treasure Cruise, my Goose, or the Bone Crusher. And actually, next turn, the sweet thing would be, if they don't take Bone Crusher, we get to kill Scrounger and eat it in the same turn, most likely. So. Alright, they take Bone Crusher, which takes that plan off the table. Ooh, whoa, 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 slow down. Yep. I think we have to let this happen. Much as I hate it, we need this scavenging who's alive, I think. 
Maybe not. I don't know. All right, yeah. So push something. Removal spell. Card's actually good. Nope, a freaking island. All right. At the beginning of each upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, you draw a card and you lose one life. Well, okay then. So we could go. Yeah, let's play Jace. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a huge fan of this line, but. <sighs> Sound Visitor is going to be annoying. Yep. Yep. Hmm. I'm going to take it. I'm going to let it happen. We take four, go to nine. I mean, obviously now it gets counter, but that's okay. Yep, scrounger. Yep, unfortunately that's an issue. Hmm. Yep. I'm dumb. Yeah, we should have waited on this. So I'm going to kill that, block here, block there, so I'll take three, six, nine. Yeah, I think we're dead to an all-out attack here. Alright, let's go block here. Block here. Okay.
Yep, up to 10. To 13. Goose down. Sure. All right, let's do this. Discard you. Target you. Push you. Um. I'm still dead, aren't I? So I can't gain enough life here to survive this. Yeah. If we had another black source, we could have pushed there, blocked there, taken five. I guess, I don't know. Well... Oh, we already used you. Shit. Uh, yeah, we go to six and still die. Awesome. Yeah. Messed that up somewhere, I'm sure. Um, We'll leave one thought season. Thought season is nice in situations, but I think we really just want to deal with the cards they have on the table more than anything else. Well, I'm sure they're going to have cards that they're going to be able to draw that we're not going to want them having. I think overall the cards on the battlefield are going to be much more concerning than anywhere else. So, overall, there's one thing I have to say about this deck. There are two... There, there are two, maybe three cards in this deck that are absolutely, like, definitely are really good for the deck. Alright, this hand's good. I'm going to keep it. Yep, I like this hand a lot. Only on game trail taps here. And I'm gonna push basically whatever they play on turn two. Hmm. Also, to note, we have Fable Passage to get our second red source for Anger of the Gods, which I think Anger of the Gods is probably like. Probably our best best card in this matchup. Hmm. Opponents taking their time. Alright, looks like they're back. Well, that's a pretty good one, not going to lie. That will let me be much more mana efficient this turn. All right. 
that we're good. Oh, go. Just making a food this turn. No reason to turn this grounder into a 3 3. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This I like the treasure crews and stuff. I think they're they're okay. Um I think three might be too many. I think that they're a little expensive for us to be playing three. Now I could see us still wanting to play three delve cards, but I think the third treasure cruise specifically is just a little too much. Possible we we want might something like murderous cut. All right, noxious grass sucks. Gutter bones sucks. Scavenging news. Raska. All right, let's get a mountain. The one thought sees that we kept in that we didn't want to draw. <sighs> Fuck me. That's like the worst case scenario right there is they drew a card that lets them kill Vraska. Of course, if Rankle hits Veraska, then they can't kill, they can't use his ability, which is good. Anger. Damn it, deck. Are you shitting me right now? Do we thought seize? I hate this sometimes. Yeah, now they get a raid back that blood soak champion. God, we're super dead. Yeah, I don't know. I, we need anger. Anger is one of our best cards and probably the most realistic way we win this game. But at the same time, the fact that we don't have double black. Oh my god, just keeps getting worse. Normally you want. The aggro decks just to flood out. But with Castle Lockwing, that doesn't even matter. Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy about that draw. Yeah, we're just going to hold up push for the Heart of Kieran in case they can crew it somehow. Bye bye, Treasure Cruise. I knew you well. On the bright side, now when we top deck our second Treasure Cruise, it's free. Yep, draw two, draw a card. Take a fatal push. Yep. Alright, that's a great one. 
I could not think of a better uh, better card to draw right there. Blood Soak Champion, I like it. Draw a card. Please don't be a fatal push. Fucking gotta be kidding me. Uh... Right when you think things can't get any worse, they get worse. Of course, the swamp. I wanted to be a swamp. Yep. All right, Cold Mountain Canary was a great draw. We didn't even know they had these Heart of Kirins, but that's great. Yep. Second heart of Kieran. Yep. Sure. 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 Come on, get greedy, opponent. Well, actually, now. Thank you, opponent. Sure, crew it. That's fine. I don't. I'm not gonna attack into it anyway. Sure. Yep, yeah, wrinkle's a problem. Yep, wrinkle is a serious problem. Hmm. Yep, they're gonna get sack this, bring it back. Yep. 
Oh no, they sacrificed her. Okay, that's not good. Well, I just screwed up. I just screwed up bad, so... Yeah, I did not see that coming. I, uh, I certainly did not see that coming. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. No, we're still dead. Doesn't matter. Yep. All right. Uh, I think we punted somewhere along there. But anyway, regardless, the deck was sweet. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, some tough matches. It happens. Um, Dreadboar's great. Scavenging was great. Um, Oko, I mean, it's Oko. Uh, Chandra was kind of meh. The third treasure cruise is a little wonky. Um, other than that, honestly, the mana base obviously gives you some, some work. But this part of the deck felt fine. These cards have felt a little wonky. Yeah, Noxious Grasp is great in the sideboard. Anger seemed really good. Duress seems fine. Chandra seemed okay. Um, we didn't really get to use them. Dreadbore again. Honestly, I think... I think Dreadbore should be in the main board somewhere. I don't know over what, um, but it should be in there somewhere. Clone Command seems good. Unmoored Ego was actually really good against the Aetherworks Marvel deck. We just couldn't get there. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really like this deck. I think it's a nice, you know, trial deck. Um, you know, definitely use some improvements, but I think it's fun. I like it a lot. I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely, definitely would be considered considering playing it again. Although the thing is, I think it's probably just better off playing Sultai. But, you know, that's kind of the point, though, right? Is, like, we play a deck that, you know, doesn't really need the third, fourth color, but it's fun to play the fourth color, so you play it. Like, just got black. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you guys did enjoy this video, it would help me out a ton if you would share this video to your social media or your other Magic Playing groups. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys next time.